Hi, everybody. Welcome to Business World in the Classroom. I'm Michelle Grakowski, and I'm the director of the Wisconsin Business World Program. I'm here today to talk to you about something really important, which is the impact that businesses have on our communities. Have you ever really stopped to think about the businesses and how they play a role into your everyday lives? Not just because you go and you buy something from them or you need gas so you're going to go to Quick Trip to pick up gas, but really what these businesses give back into your own communities. Some of you may have played Little League and you've probably seen on your Little League um, field, you know, you'll see all the little billboards, you know, of all the sponsors, you know, or maybe on your t-shirt it'll say sponsored by a local business in your community. Those business owners are trying to give back. They're trying to figure out a way to help their community grow and thrive. A perfect example of this is Quick Trip, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this organization. Um, I'm sure most of you probably have a Quick Trip in your community or else one nearby, or that you've seen a Quick Trip in some way, shape, or form, you know, as you've been on your travels. But Quick Trip is a phenomenal company, not just because of the innovation and the growth that they have, but it's also because of their heart. Their mission um, is to make a difference in someone's life. In every business, um, in every meeting that they have as a corporation, they start out their meeting or their meetings saying that our mission is to make a difference in someone's life, and they live by that every day. And they do this in two ways. Um, number one, when you walk into a Quick Trip store, you know you know that the people there are really engaging and happy, and see you next time and all that good stuff. But that's brought on because of the culture that they're creating within their organization. They have strong corporate values where they call their um, employees coworkers. So everybody is a coworker. They give 40% of their profits back to their employees. Think about that, you guys. They're a billion dollar company and they give 40% back to their employees at the end of the year um, as a thank you for the hard work that they're doing every day um, in their convenience stores and in their corporate locations. They have a corporate program called Families Helping Families where their employees can actually put money um, into, uh, they can donate money into this program. And so if they have a coworker that is going through a hard time medically or financially, they can apply to receive some grant money on that. Um, and again, their mission statement to make a difference in someone's lives. And let's talk about that in the community. They do wonderful things in our community through Neighbors Helping Neighbors and through their Quick Trip Cares programs. Um, actually, they're a big sponsor of our programming, um, as well as many, many other nonprofits throughout our whole state um, so that we can go in and make a difference in our communities as well. So let's talk about the importance of profitability. In a previous talk, we talked about innovation and how innovation can lead to change, that change to opportunity, that opportunity to success. Now let's talk about the next step down. Success equals growth and profitability. Guys, profitability is not a dirty word in business um, because most businesses take that profitability and they turn it into um, growth, right? What do they do with their, with their profits? Companies um, invest in new technologies. They innovate and they expand. They hire new workers. Um, they give raises and benefits to their employees that they already have. But the biggest bullet point that I want you to see here is they donate to nonprofits. If you work for a company that's profitable, what does that mean for you? If, you, if they give you a raise, what are you going to do? You're going to invest your money, right, hopefully, into a bank, um, which the bank can in turn loan out to somebody else so that your community continues to grow and thrive. Um, you can buy more things, right, which in turn helps other businesses that are manufacturing those things. You can go on vacation, which helps our service industry, work on home improvements, and importantly, donate to nonprofits. So what does a hot job market really mean for corporations, right? So because if, you're, if, if businesses are all thriving and growing, you know, and they're manufacturing more because there's more money in the economy and people are buying their goods and services, that means that companies are really looking for good workers, right? And it's really hard to find those good workers. So what does that mean for you? It's easier for you to find good work. It's easier for you to find high paying work because businesses need to pay in order to, to recruit new employees. But the biggest thing a strong economy allows is for consumers and businesses to have more choices. Okay, and that's the biggest thing that I want you to take away is that you have choices. You can choose what you want to do with that extra money that you have just like the business can. 
So to me, all of that leads to more compassion in our communities and more giving back, like what Quick Trip is doing. If Quick Trip starts losing some of their profitability, they're not going to be able to give back as much to the local programs that they give. But because they're profitable and because we're um, voting with our dollars to go and you know buy our gas from Quick Trip, they're able to give back and donate to the softball teams and donate to nonprofits like us. So the bigger picture, you guys, in 2017, $410 billion was donated to nonprofits. Let's talk about that, $410 billion across the United States. That is a phenomenal amount of money, and that's coming from both corporate and individual donations. So as you can see, that money is going right back into our communities through food banks, through um, educational resource programs, through after-school programs, into sporting, sports programs. It's really it's a phenomenal number when you think about that. So let's talk about you. How can you give back? How can you give back into your, into your community, into your schools, into your families? First and foremost, be kind, okay? We're in a world where social media can be a little bit uh, crazy and maybe not so positive all the time, but you can be that light, you can be kind, and you can brighten somebody's day. That's an easy way that without paying anything, without having any money to donate back in, anything that we're talking about, just be kind. Join organizations in your school, volunteer, right? Figure out ways that you can be in your school, in your community, you know, work for a, a go volunteer at an animal shelter, you know, if you, if animals are a big passion of yours. Find a way to give back. It not only helps your community, it not only helps the organization you're serving, but it also makes you feel really good on the inside too. Um, ask others, you know, like uh, how you can be helpful. Super easy. Another easy way, um, just say, you know, how can I help? If you see somebody that looks like they need help, ask, what can you do to help them? Use your talents. Everybody has their own unique skill set. Okay, so find out what it is that you have that you can offer to give back. If you love to play the piano, maybe you could go play the piano at a senior center. That would brighten their day. So think of ways that you can give back. And discover your own interests through that, you know. So it maybe maybe you end up volunteering at an animal shelter, and you never really hmm, you thought I like animals, but that might lead you to a whole new career path, maybe as a vet, you know. So discover your interests through the work that you're doing into the community, whatever it is. Make a change, you know. If it's as simple as a smile and can I help you, or if it's as actionable as going out and working at a nonprofit. Figure out a way that you can give back into your community and just be that light.